Greetings to the video. Today we're going to talk all about saddle height, if your saddle height is too high, if it's too low, issues that can cause, and then also how to actually set your most perfect saddle height for you. So this is Phil Burt, master extraordinaire, bike fitter, so yeah. <laughs> how do you optimize your saddle height for you? Okay, first thing to remember is, um, Saddle height is probably the most important thing in any bike setup because it's the engine. It's where I start with all my bike fits. If you can't get your saddle height right, it's going to lead to discomfort, the inability to produce power, all those things. So very important to set out, but don't panic about it. There is no one to the millimeter perfect saddle height. You've heard me say a thousand times, but there's a window. So can you imagine there's a box here, right? Everyone has a box where if you get your saddle in that box, somehow it, you're going to be okay, all right? You're going to be you know, going away and enjoy your cycling, all right? So there's a box. What tends to happen, though, is over when you get older, my box is smaller these days because I'm getting less uh, flexible, getting older, and therefore sometimes it takes a bit more effort to get into that box. So what we're going to do today is give you some helpful tips on how you can get your saddle height into the right ideal window of fit for it. First thing to consider, saddle height isn't a, a dimension on its own. You have to consider it with saddle tilt and saddle setback. Let me explain that. If your saddle is all the way back here, but very low, you'll still extend your knee a long way to get to the pedal stroke. So it will feel like your saddle height is very high. It isn't, it's too far back. Consequently, if you're too far forward, it might feel like your saddle height is too low, but in actual fact, it isn't. It's just all the way forward. Saddle tilt is really important because if your nose of your saddle is up, it can often produce a hell of a lot of pressure at the front and make you feel like you really are sitting too high. There's a lot of pressure coming up under you. So consider saddle tilt and fore aft set or set back of the saddle when you're setting your saddle up. Let's imagine those two things are optimal. Remember, if you've got your saddle one or two degrees down, it's normally right. I don't know of any saddle that's meant to be used nose up, for example. But what's it for the purposes of this video, consider those two things normal. Right, how do you set your ideal saddle height? Well, quite simply, one of the most easiest ways to do it all by yourself is literally stand next to it and put your hip next to it. The bony outside of your hip or the greater trochanter in big Latin to anatomical terms, if that's lined up with your saddle roughly and jump on the bike, if that feels about right, that'll work for about 60 to 70% of the people and it works for me, all right? Secondly, you can measure your inseam. You may already know it for the size of trousers you order. That's your inseam is until the, you, the middle of your groin to the bottom of the floor. If you times that by 0.88, it's called Le Mans method. You can look it up online. That would be your saddle height. So then you measure that from the middle of the bottom bracket to the middle of your saddle, and that's your saddle height. That works really well as well, all right? Those two things will get, I would imagine, 60 to 70% of people somewhere in their bike fit window and from there you can micro adjust it by millimeters until you think it's comfortable there are some people who need more help so some of us are blessed with shorter legs longer torsos or longer legs and shorter torsos bike fit gets complicated then sometimes because once you get this right the front end's wrong other times some people are very asymmetrical so once you make one leg ideal saddle height the other one isn't at that point, that's when you might start to think about investing in a bike fit or someone, the help of someone like myself who can help you get the, the, that happy medium ground. But don't overcomplicate saddle height, but do invest in making sure it's somewhere where it should be. Small indications that your saddle is too high is it, uh, really rocking. So imagine your hips are going from side to side. You feel like you're having to reach for the pedals each time down there, that your saddle tight is too high pain at the back of the knee it almost feels like your hamstring or your calf overreaching almost getting very tight towards the battle on the pedal stroke that's a sign that it's too high massive pressure underneath your undercarriage that you're not not normally expected that would be the saddle height is too high all right those are the things to look out there common indicators that that might be the that your saddle is too high saddle too low quite often knee pain so picking up like feeling like your, your, your front of your knee is getting really really tight you're very quad dominant your quads are tight almost feeling like they're going to cramp up um sometimes a little bit of low back pain because you'll be sitting so low you're crouched up everything your hips getting closed so those are the signs that maybe you're sitting too low the fact that you can't your ankles feel really closed and you can't open them up either if you're feeling those sorts of things and believe it or not i cycled home last week my saddle has slipped 20 mil I didn't tell Katie this, but I had raging knee pain, didn't know, got home, could hardly pedal. For some reason, this had slipped. Um, 
the bolt had gone or something or other, had knee pain. And I'm meant to know what I'm talking about. So things do move, all right? But you say, if you notice those things, check your saddle height. You wouldn't believe the worst people in the world are the pros. They have no idea, honestly, what they're right, and that, yet it's their job. I should try and train our academy riders who are at British Cycle and I said, this is your machine, this is your tool. You should know what your saddle height is. It is not the job of the mechanic who looks after the team. It's not important. The mechanic doesn't win the medal, they do, you know? So it's the same for you. If once you find something that's that you're happy with, record it. Take a photo. I always take it, I, I get everyone who comes in here nearly always to take a photo of where their saddle is with a little level on top and they know where it is on the rails. Once you got it, if anything happens, say you go traveling, you have a crash, bike gets nicked, at least you know what it is and you know what it was. If you've got any more questions, leave them in the comments. We'll be doing plenty more videos with Phil. Thank you as always. Um, I'll leave a link to his website, sorry, I've got my hair group, uh, below and I'll see you all next video. <laughs> <laughs> Not in my lap, I'm not having it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a circus bike.